the experience of living human life can be a complete nightmare where we are constantly caught up in descriptions about ourselves, others and the world and these descriptions as you can probably notice and I, it's something I know from my own experience they're always changing. Some days I totally love everyone and I think that everyone is amazing and beautiful and other days I might be thinking that wow, I just want to stay in my room and not see anyone and uh, just watch YouTube vo uh, movies of cats or something like that. And, uh, and these things could, before coming across the Balanced View training, this would define my identity. This would define my reality, what I think, what I feel, what I sense. And all of that would be the way I describe how my day was, my relationships were completely affected. Basically, being a moody teenager for all of this time, you know, a moody teenager, apologies if someone is still in the teens here, but there's something that is a bit unpredictable, always changing. And I thought once I will reach the age of 20, I don't know what, or I will have my first job, or I will have my first, uh, I will get married, or, or things like that, then I will be a mature human being. But I started to see that these uh, thoughts and emotions, they are always changing. And I felt quite at loss and I always try to find solutions in order to fix my, what I took to be my reality, to fix my identity in a way that will be a better one. So what does it mean practically on a day-to-day -day level? And why I started to say that it can be like a nightmare? Because from the moment I woke up till the moment I went to sleep, I was constantly thinking about what I'm thinking and feeling. Trying to generate more positive thoughts, emotions and sensations, what we call in, in Balance View data streams, thoughts, emotions and sensations, constantly trying to generate more positive ones. Why? Because I had a belief system and assumption that positive data streams, thoughts, emotions, sensations are far better than my negative ones. And if I want to be successful, if I want to be open-hearted, I need to get rid of my negative thoughts and emotions and I need to cultivate positive ones. Can you see the loop? I'm also repeating the same thing just to, to emphasize here. Wow, it's being stuck in like a limbo of, of despair basically because sometimes I was successful and I thought, oh, I'm doing everything right. Girlfriend is right. Cat is right. Um, <laughs> you know, parents are okay today, my star constellation is good, my breathing and posture is well, oh, I'm perfect that I came to go here, I find my happiness. So it was, ah, yeah, yeah. And then a moment passes by and suddenly I think about world politics and I think about my history and memories come from the past and, oh, again, I'm in the limbo of, okay, that's how we change it. Oh, maybe go out. It wasn't, maybe I should travel somewhere else or girlfriend maybe to change to another one or you know like <laughs> so more and more thinking is, needs to be applied more techniques to improve my identity the flawed identity the broken one with few things that are good and many things that are not good in my case how can I fix it and fix it and I'll read many books that claim that I'm broken and suggest that maybe somewhere in the future there's a place where happiness lies. But in order for me to reach there, I need to do cartwheels for one million years, <laughs> not think at all during all of these one million years, and <laughs> eat certain food, wear certain clothes, speak in a certain way, and maybe then, it's even not guaranteed, but maybe after that, I'll reach this happiness place. So that's complete exhaustion. <laughs> and, and really, before coming across the Balance View training, I was 25. I reached to a place where I felt, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm dedicating so much of my time to try and find this reality that everyone is speaking about as a better place, as a place of contentment, where I can find stability. But what I find in my experience is just states. I'm getting into a state of mind that seems to be better and then I'm losing it and I'm getting into it again. 
by all kinds of means and techniques and I'm losing it again and I'm getting and I think I got it and I didn't get it. Okay, there must be a solution, right? There must be. We shouldn't live in this way for too long. We shouldn't waste our lives focusing on our thoughts, emotions and sensations as though they have an independent nature of their own. We think that we need to do something with it, but what lies in the basis of all of that? And this is the solution that is provided by the introduction, direct introduction to the nature of our mind, direct introduction, unerring introduction to the nature of reality, open intelligence. And you can see it right now, no matter what you're thinking or feeling, stop thinking for a moment. and see what remains. Alertness, openness, the power to know. This is open intelligence. This is an introduction, direct introduction to the nature of your mind. For some people it can be an immediate relief. Wow, it's always been there for other people. They might think I know it already. Other people might think what's the big deal. Regardless, see what remains, what allows you to know all of these thoughts that I just mentioned or others. This is open intelligence, bright and clear, like vast like blue sky, not limited in any way to our descriptions. And then when the thoughts come again, I feel excluded, for example, which is a common one uh, that many people experience, the uh, same for me, uh, or confusion about the nature of reality, lack of recognition of open intelligence or the nature of our mind, all of these potent things, they arise in as an o of open intelligence. What allows us to know is this power to know, open intelligence. So they arise for a moment and they, they appear and resolve. And that's the fun part, they naturally resolve by themselves like a design drawn in space. In the past I would take all of these big things that I wanted to change as though they have an independent nature and then it meant that in order for me to feel relief I needed to go there and dig with my thoughts and emotions and think about them and try to fix them and, and you know why do I feel excluded again for example maybe it's that this and the other thing or trying to avoid situations like not being with many people. So this data of comparison will not come up and or replacing that I'm actually a nice person, I'm a positive person, everyone loves me, right? You all love me, right? <laughs> okay, you know, so like trying to play tricks with my mind in order to feel more confident, but that doesn't lead anywhere. And when I take a short moment of recognizing this bright open intelligence, and this is the practice of, of balanced view, simply relaxing for a short moment, then I see that this data stream self-releases. And really be honest and look at your own experience. All the thoughts and emotions you had in the last seven minutes. Could you hold them into play, in place? Could you make something out of them? You felt excluded. You felt the best person in the world. Everyone loves you. No one hates you. Um, you like this. You don't like this. There's a constant flow, forever changing. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times allows us to see that, uh, that we can gain complete confidence and assurance in the power and presence of open intelligence in all data streams, including intense ones, not just positive ones. When we speak about a unified reality where everything is one and everything is harmonious and, and connected and so on, it must include also the negative data streams, not just the positive rosy ones. Open intelligence and data streams, no matter what they are, positive, negative or neutral, are inseparable. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. I was looking for reality in really exciting places in my mind. Really heightened thoughts, heightened emotions, sensations in the body. And then to hear that it's inseparable from, from my depression, from my fears and anxieties and paranoias, and to uh, not just know that and hear about it, but have the tools to recognize this brightness and stability, that's the best thing ever. It's a solution that is guaranteed to each person who is open for that. And why is it guaranteed, you might ask? 
it's guaranteed because this is reality as it is. This is the nature of all human beings everywhere. It's not just something that belongs to very special refined beings who effort a lot to be in some special state. It's something that is available to all of us. Complete relaxation in every moment. Dropping this heavy load of reifying our stories and our past and making it into something and dropping it to the ground in a short moment. How does it feel to take a short moment? You can test that right now. There's relief. It allows us to face everything, you know, including sadness and fear about death of ourselves or closed one. These are thoughts that I never allowed myself to think because I felt that I will be broken, I will be in despair for the rest of my life. And, but with the power of open intelligence and the tools of balanced view, the four mainstays, and uh, very much in the beginning also the 12 empowerments course that is a, an incredible laser-like text and, and settings and training that opens up all of these limited belief systems and assumptions. So what it allowed me to see is to be courageous and face everything fully and avoid nothing including these thoughts that I felt that will take me down, like thinking what will happen if a loved one will die. And of course it happened as well. So I had to test the tools of the balanced view, the short moments, the trainer, the training and community, and everything that I've learned in the 12 empowerments to see how it is in action. And what I found is incredible support, incredible solution that so to something that felt so scary and big, how to be in such a situation, in hospitals, being with loved ones who are suffering physically, all, all of these things that can come up. What I started to see that through the tools and the incredible loving support, I, I was able to be stable and I was able to be of benefit in these situations. And my thoughts, which were very intense at the time and were very challenging, didn't take me down. They actually empowered me to be available and be of benefit. Connect deeply to everyone, not just the person who is, who is there in one bed, but everyone. <laughs> everyone all together. And that was a very powerful experience to me and a true testimony for the guaranteed result of the 12 empowerments and, and balanced view. Because it's not just in Goa when I feel peachy and rosy but it's in a hospital somewhere where there's so much tension and fear as well or when I'm alone somewhere and I don't know what to do with myself in terms of my uh, overwhelming thinking, then reaching out to the support using the tools just brings a, an incredible solution, relief, stability, clarity. And all of these qualities are innate to us. That's what we gain confidence in one short moment at a time, that our stability is innate, our clarity and openness are innate. They are not contrived and not cultivated. They are not dependent on an ever-changing display of data streams. <laughs>